Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. So um, today we're going to do the next update video for the CNC router um, with the frame made out of steel. And here I'm just showing the uh, gantry, which was welded up from uh, steel tubes. And because it pulled so much, it was almost square, but it almost wasn't as well. So what I did is I took uh, aluminum L profiles and I glued them on top uh, and very lightly clamped them and that allowed me to relatively easily square up the gantry. So here you can see a few pictures of the frame being set up um, in the workshop and I uh, bolted it to the floor with with some uh, adjustable height anchors and here I'm on to the next step you know sh um, showing how I attached the bed to the side side frames side structures and actually it worked out pretty well it's very very stiff so uh, no side some side to side movement and it was uh, very easy to get it very flat as well or at least at least very horizontal because the 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 floor is less than uh, than accurate it's it has a variation of of more than basically half an inch over a one meter length sorry which is you know let's say 15, 10 12 millimeters over one meter um and here i'm just showing that each of the size structures was i would say pretty uh pretty close to being horizontal and i added some uh, lower braces in as well i had them uh, made uh, a while ago and i just added them in and um uh, it added a little bit more uh, uh, stiffness and a little bit more strength, I think. Okay, here you can see that I also added the L profiles onto the side structures to get them square as well. Here's uh, a few pictures of my silly cat because uh, she's very cute, but also a little bit stupid. And here I'm mounting the uh, one of the linear rails on the side structures, and I basically tried to map out what the uh, what the dis what the uh, uh, variation was in the in the glued piece that I glued on there, just so I could make sure that once I mount the um, the uh, gear racks on there, it would actually line up. Uh, pretty well. So here I am uh, milling the uh, ears. They are made from 15 millimeter steel plates. Uh, I welded them together and uh, I basically wanted to make them as square as possible uh, so I could fit them on the machine and see how it fit and all that kind of stuff. And um, uh, I'm milling with a 10 millimeter, uh, sorry, a 12, 12 millimeter five flute end mill, which is really, really good for side milling, but really, really terrible for, um, for facing. Because I, I don't, maybe it's the, uh, maybe it's the end mill, maybe it's me, I don't know how to set it up correctly, but when I try to do uh, facing cuts with it, I mean, the quality, uh, the, the, the quality was, I would say passable, but the the whole machine vibrated like crazy. So I'm assuming that the five flutes either requires some different, um, uh, you know, different combination of RPM and and feed uh, feeds uh, feeds and speeds basically because. I, I just I just couldn't get it to not vibrate, and here I'm doing a bracket for the um, for the gear racks, which in the end turned out wasn't needed at, at all. All right, so here you can see the um, the um, the router in uh, and it's sort of taking shape, and we have um, we have the sides pretty much ready. We have the internal bed structure also ready. And um, here I'm just taking a few shots. Sorry for the uh, camera work. I'm doing it all on my phone right now. And uh, here you can see the, the ears, the gear racks, and uh, 
the linear rails. And the gantry is bolted with uh, to, the, to the ears. And I also have set screws, so I can basically tweak out any type of twist or, uh, or stuff like that in the uh, gantry or, or height differences in the different sides of the, um, in the different size, uh, size of the side structures. Okay, and I'm just moving it a little bit as well. Sorry about the, the, the movement. And it's actually surprise, it moves surprisingly easily, even though, you know, considering how, how heavy it is and considering that it's not even near to being uh, perfectly aligned, set up and, and all that kind of jazz. And what I did was I asked a, a friend of mine to sit in the middle of the gantry. Uh, he's about 75 kilos or maybe, you know, 180 pounds or something like that. And, it, and the gantry actually moved smoother, which was, a, I think, a, a pretty good sign. So the next uh, video, I'll be showing more progress. And uh, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.